Welcome to Eden Town Hall, number 28. <laughs> it is Sunday, <laughs> December 11th. I'm here with Nicola and with Reiki, and we are having a great time. We've been uh, having conversations the past, um, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so, maybe, uh, talking about, first we're talking about the bees and the progress of the bees and bots and all sorts of cool stuff. We'll get into that. Nicola's going to share a little bit with us in a, in a bit about the new changes with Twitters and value that the bees are providing. And then uh, Reiki was asking some great questions about Eden um, and what I enjoyed about Eden, what the value of Eden was to provide to me and Nicola and everybody in communicating the benefits of Eden. So we figured it was a great time to start recording uh, and discuss Eden. Uh, we'll also discuss the bees lately, and I see Leaf is joining too, so maybe we'll hear some updates from Leaf about the cool games he's working on. Uh, but yeah, with that, I'll pass it on to, well, I'll just say hello and welcome everybody. Thanks again for joining and thanks for watching. And Nicola and Reiki, uh, how's it going? Doing amazing. Yeah. <laughs> How are you then? <laughs> I'm doing very well, thank you. <laughs> And I, and I think I heard Reiki saying, yeah. So yeah, how's it going, Reiki? And would you like to uh, share anything with us or, or 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 remind us of those questions? Yeah, I'll put the camera on. I'm just hanging out on a Sunday outside. Um, it's pretty cold, so forgive me if I'm shivering. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been having a lot of fun in Eden lately. I'm really trying to unpack, you know, all the epic things that are going on. How can we communicate those things simply? You know, why do people actually want to be here? Because... <laughs> For a lot of people, it's very unclear what the purpose of Eden was, um, and those even members within Eden. So that's what I've been doing the last few weeks is having these one-on-ones, asking the questions I was just asking you guys here when we wanted to record this. And that's, you know, what is, hmm, I'm trying to figure out the simplest way I can condense this because my last attempt took us about 20 minutes in the chief delegate call. <laughs> so that was trying to condense down what we call the three horizons framework um, and applying that to Eden. So go back and watch the chief delegate call. But the question I was asking you guys was, you know, what inspired you to be part of Eden? What value has Eden provided you? I mean, you're here, Dan, you're here, Nick, and now Leaf, you guys are all here doing stuff, finding it worth your time. You know, why is that? Um, and I wanted to get that perspective from you guys. Yeah, so first I want to say hi to Leaf. Welcome. I'm doing Dan jobs here. <laughs> it's a, by the way, it's recording. So yeah, just want to say that. <laughs> Thank you, Nicola. Great work and hi Leaf. <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs> and so yeah, to answer your question, um what Eden has done for me is that I'm working on the project. So obviously I've been able to get funded for that project's pro project I'm working on, which is the bees. And so it has been very beneficial for Eden. And so this is how basically it works. You have a project and you get funded if it has a use for Eden in general or the EOS community uh, or Eden member. But more generally, um, I think that uh, Eden has many benefits for anyone uh, that's in the EOS community. And so, yeah, I think it should be like more, uh, more put in front of new people that even though they are not inside the US community yet, uh, I think that anyone that is even though curious about Eden should uh, should maybe see a video, have a written article, something like that, that really uh, lists all all the things that Eden could, could do for them, all the benefits aspect of Eden. Um, and so, yeah, this is, this is my point of view on, on that. And so, yeah, pass it to you, Dan. All right. Well, yeah, thank you very much, Nicola, for the great explanation. And yeah, thank you, Reiki, for the question, too. So uh, it's it's a great question to ask and something that I'd never asked Nicola before and many people in the ES community and many people in the Eden community. And it also goes back to what we were saying before, too, about the value of communicating the value, well, to the value of communicating the benefits and why people want to join Eden and how Eden helps. So hearing from people like Nicola, hearing from Nicola, and seeing all the great stuff that 
uh, has come from Eden that's helped is uh, super cool. So yeah, thank you, Nikolai. Thank you, uh, Reiki. So um, I could go on and on and on because Eden totally changed my life. Um, I'd also be interested to hear from Leaf too. I think that Leaf is, I'm not sure if Leaf is an Eden member with the elections. I'd be interested to hear from Leaf because I know you've joined the Eden Fractal meetings once before um, and you've been joining these town halls past month or past few weeks. So I really appreciate that. But I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on, on it too, Leaf. But um, first I'll share a bit of my response and also interested to hear from Reiki as well, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, so Eden totally uh, changed my life in so many ways. I've spoken a little bit about on different fireside chats and lots of different videos before, but to sum it up concisely, um, I, so I was following EOS um, for several years before Eden happened, before Eden came about, um, and I was excited about EOS. I went by Dogman, Dogman Labs. I was I was a pseudonymous, and nobody knew who I was, um, and that was cool. I was really excited about EOS, but it just brought it to a whole different uh, experience and like changed the purpose and gave so much purpose and so much meaning and so many relationships, so many cool things that had come from it. Because without Eden, then I would have. I don't think I would have met you all. I, I wouldn't be hosting the Eden Town Hall and wouldn't be doing the Eden Fractal and participating in the Eden elections. And I wouldn't know Nicola and Reiki and Leaf and like hundreds of people who are like great friends now and great collaborators who are doing amazing work in the community. Um, so like on just one level, it just provided a community and friendship and uh, people to work together and uh, so much collaboration in that way and far more than I've ever had before. And also realizing how this can um, I mean, I've had lots of friends in the past, you know, obviously in, in life, but just I, I've never known so many people around the world doing so many cool things, just linked by just common interest. And then combining it with like the importance of the interest, because like this is what the world needs, like the world needs to learn to cooperate better. And that's how I see Eden, like Eden as a community that helps people cooperate. And these are tools that help people cooperate. They help communities thrive. And we get on and we build things together and we collaborate and we have these consensus mechanisms or games to uh, help each other make decisions and just help each other in general in so many different ways. People are already doing really cool stuff with EOS. Um, so it's really fun meeting people and we're doing really important work too. That's really helpful for the world and we all need it. And at the same time, we're making video content too. So I'm a video creator. I love creating content. Uh, and so every time that we do Eden elections, we're, we're making videos that can help inspire other people and share people how they can use these uh, helpful tools to grow their communities and get closer with people and all sorts of stuff. So I, I can go on and on about it, but I don't want to go too, too long. So I'll leave it there. I'm happy to go into more details. Um, and yeah, I'm curious to hear your thoughts about that and hear more from uh, Mike and Leaf as well. Oh, well, maybe I could put it back on you for a second, Dan. And could you bullet point it? <laughs> so if you could summarize the benefits to you in three bullet points, what they what would they be? Yes. Thank you, Reiki. And also, uh, hey, Leaf, it's great to see you. I just saw you turning on camera on. So I'll give my three bullet points uh, rather quickly. And then, Leaf, if you want to share your thoughts, then that'd be a great time. Um, I said three. So that's apparently what the number I'm going to do is because I'm on the fly thinking about this. So one is, um, and I don't know if this is the proper order, but... Uh, first bullet point is um, relationships and friendships and uh, business networking to do cool things. Two is purpose. The world needs this. The world needs to learn to cooperate. The principles in More Equal Animals and the principles that we're learning to design better systems with Web3 and the York with Hyphen and everything like that. Um, and the USBs, like the world needs these things. Um, and then thirdly, we get to make awesome videos and share awesome experiences together. So first bullet point, the collaborations and friendships and business partnerships. Second point, the overall purpose and how the world needs this and how this helps people cooperate. And I think a lot about um, like helping humanity survive and thrive in the coming decades. And I believe this is necessary. And then thirdly, just having a great time making great videos together. I hope that's not still too long of a bullet point. I know those bullet points had a couple, <laughs> had a couple of sentences, including no both friendships, though. purpose, and having a good time. I love it. That's it's eloquently yeah, I, beautiful. I can add, you, I can add uh, a bullet point also. I would say like creativity because what's nice, what's really great, I think, is that you can have any idea, any project, and you can just expose them and express them to the Eden community members and all of them will give you uh, feedbacks on, on it and help you improve 
uh, URD so that you can have uh, like a really uh, structured, constructive uh, project that responds to a demand of the community. And so you can get funded for that. And so this is really, really great because we reward creativity and interaction. And so we can come from nothing, not knowing a lot about EOS and not have having particular particular skills but uh with eden you can be you can get some skills and be helped by Eden community members and then uh, have the final projects and and work on that and get funded for it and so it's win to win for everybody so i think this is an, ama an amazing thing about eden yeah sorry it's not a bullet point it's a whole <laughs> uh, whole argument uh, yeah but you can see creativity. <laughs> Yeah, it is difficult to summarize it concisely, although that's also a good practice too. So thank you for asking us, Reiki, and uh, we can also continue to hone in and write it down. But yeah, thanks for the great thoughts, Nicola, and I completely agree. It's uh, profoundly helpful for creativity and uh, those kinds of collaborations. And one thing I'll add too that I didn't even mention, I didn't think about what is one of the main attractions is the funding too. So I was a chief delegate um, last season, and that's provided me funding so I can launch these new shows that I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing the 500 EOS giveaway uh, to Pomelo, uh, to, to all the good creators in Pomelo, and this is launching a new show. That wouldn't be possible. I wouldn't have that funding if it weren't for uh, Eden. And same thing with like the bees and EOS support and many of these different organizations doing great work around EOS. Um, the funding has been very helpful to start up all these great organizations as well. So, yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, beautiful summaries. Um, yeah, I see Eden is, it's our opportunity to build Eden, right? We're building all these tools for new economic systems. I mean, whether you call them nation state or... <laughs> I love the, the concept of the network state. That is the concept that eventually our movement can get so powerful that we can start having our own passports and maybe not even need passports and kind of move beyond that, so... Anyway, if we can get to that point, awesome. We've definitely won. But that's what you know. I think I'm here for and a lot of other people are here for is we're building the tools that are freeing ourselves, right? Letting us build a different type of society so we can step out of Rome while it's collapsing and not just you know fall down with it. Um, and hopefully prevent it from collapsing too and make it, uh, <laughs> and, and, and make it way better than ever before. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the ideas could collapse, but then the people and lives don't have to be shattered in the process, you know? So that's the idea of, you know, a transition versus a revolution or, you know. So that's why I like the term renaissance anyway, because revolution is just going in circles. And, you know, parts of crypto are a revolution, and it's just going to end us up in the exact same place, you know, different dictator. Um, but these tools also give us the ability to create a renaissance, which is a fundamentally different way of organizing society in a nonviolent way. Um, so I think that's what's really interesting and what's gathered, you know, a lot of brilliant minds to the Eden and EOS community. Um, so I really think that's our superpower here. It's the community we've created. So I think one of the things that are going to come out of this is a consultancy, a community run consultancy or any community, whether it's the independent party in America or whatever, there's communities all across the globe that want to coordinate in different ways, right? Um, when they're wanting to come and take advantage of all the tools that we've designed to build their own economies, launch their own governance systems, organize in a different way, et cetera, et cetera. We have a community of counselors and catalysts and coordinators, whatever we want to call ourselves, that can go and help these communities and get paid to do it, right? So I think that's kind of the long-term, really lucrative, viable strategy for Eden and the current membership here is what have we been fundamentally doing? We've been experimenting and learning and researching decentralized governance. We've been training ourselves up in this new career path that doesn't really exist fully yet, but is going to be massively important and you know, communities are going to want to pay for it. As they can see, wait, we can create our own economic systems, we can enter our own currencies, our own governance systems, and <laughs> arbitrate and do all of these things directly in our own way. Like that is powerful, and that is what every human in every kind of context could benefit from. So, you know, our total addressable market is eight billion people. <laughs> so we need a lot of consultants to be able to help humanity shift into new types of civilizations. Um, so I think that would be really powerful to launch in the Eden community. Is you know, call it Eden for all is the current name for it. <laughs> But it's basically a you know incubator 
four startup cities and network states and et cetera, all the terms that they're taking for these startup towns where people are saying, hey, there's a thousand of us. We want to exit capitalism. We don't want to be part of the collapse of Rome or whatever their story and reason is. You know, they want to come into something else. We can set up an incubator run by a bunch of consultants, the eating community, to help them go through the process. Um, so that's going to take us some time to be really, you know, having that run. Um, so the first step is kind of setting up a school, if you will, where we'll come together just like we're doing in these roundtables to talk about and learn about decentralized governance, how to coordinate, how to do that nonviolently, how to help others go through that process, et cetera, and do that by going through the process ourselves. So there's a lot of us in the community. We want to set up our own DAOs. We're interested in launching a community around a whole bunch of different brands and ideas. If you have those ideas, come to this incubator that we're going to maybe be launching starting next season. Um, and then we can go through and mimic the process and learn what it takes to do this and do it successfully. Um, so that would be really interesting. And that's something that I think is an immediate value add for EOS as well, because it's what's gonna attract the next billion people to the platform is the ability to really leverage these tools to design their own versions of Eden, if you will. Um, so that's what's exciting for me is I can see Eden being the platform and the foundation for helping humanity literally design and build their own versions of Eden. Absolutely. So, that's not a bullet point other than, you know, Eden for all and building a new type of civilization, right? Yes. Sometimes I uh, can't be captured in a bullet point, but that's very well <laughs> said. Uh, and, and yeah, thank you, Reiki. I, I've been listening. Uh, I've been getting to know you much more. I mean, I was following your work uh, with Haifa prior to you joining and also Seeds prior to you joining uh, Eden more actively over the past few months since you became a chief delegate. Um, also, congratulations, of course. And um, but yeah, I, I just listened to your uh, your chief delegate call, the, the newest one yesterday, and I've been listening to all of them. And so it's been fascinating to hear your thoughts, and you're providing uh, really great insights and leadership. Um, and um, yeah, uh, I love your vision about how, and, and and I very much agree that Eden is. Uh, there's a lot of amazing people here who are really smart, who are really talented and who have been working on helping people cooperate with these decentralized governance and cooperation mechanisms and all these things that people need to cooperate, we can do better with these new tools like Eden and with Antelope and with EOS and so forth. Um, so, and, and yeah, everybody needs it. Everybody in the world needs it. So Eden can help everybody. Uh, as we're getting Eden in order right now, we're learning to cooperate because it's only been about a year or so and it's been a little tumultuous as we've been learning how to do it with the few hundred people here, but we're taking all of our learnings that we've had over the past year and several years before that um, with all these smart people and we're applying in ways that uh, can be spread and be used for other people all around the world. So all people can enjoy the benefits of having their own Edens um, and live more enjoyable lives and peaceful lives and healthy lives and more fun and all those good things. So. Very well said, and thank you, Reiki. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. I'm just not responding anymore because I'd love to hear from Leaf and others, but thank you, Dan. That was beautiful. Sounds good, and likewise. And also, before I get the... Uh, well, I could, I, actually, I see Leaf here. So, hey, Leaf, how's it doing? Or how are you doing? Very good, very good. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I come from a completely different angle. I've only you know, been interested in entering the market through games and gamification of some of these more complex, you know, ideas. To me, that's the problem we're trying to solve is our small team. You, you have blockchain, which is inherently complex. And uh, we see the solution being gamification as like an on-ramp to the EOS ecosystem and uh, taking gamification for, you know, creating wallets and all this other stuff that, probably you guys take for granted but i mean from the outside it's fairly complex and the staking and all these different cpu ram and all these different concepts taking and creating a game uh, play that incorporates those so that people go through the game and through the game they learn the process and they come out of the game having fun it becomes a learning experience so that's kind of the core problem solving and the core you know value added proposition that we're trying to bring so we don't, you know, really see, I mean, I would say we all say, you know, for myself, 
coming at it from the creative standpoint, I mean, we created our first application in 2018, which is a slot machine on EOS blockchain. So it had uh, the algorithms, lifetime fee. We had it up on Jungle Testnet for several uh, months. Uh, the payout, the algorithms, the math. I mean, that was a fairly complex, I'm going to say fairly, it was very complex for a little bootstrap team and figuring out how to do a random number generate, generation on blockchain technology. And I'm not a tech guy. I've worked with my partner, Jawad, who he would just graduated computer uh, engineering school. And he took that on. My other kind of acting CTO, uh, Kevin, has gone on. He's now the CTO of BitPay. So those guys really knew their shit. I just happened to get lucky. It was a you know a chance. But even that is like a very complex. That's just a slot machine. I mean, that's been several years now. So I mean, on the larger scale, I mean, my, our initial my initial attraction was really automation. That's what I saw as like one of the beauties of creating something that could exist. We'll say like Bitcoin decentralized, but in a sense with a with an automation to it. The Eden concept, you know, is a little above my, you know, my pay grade. It's a little highbrow for me. I, I appreciate it from what the people are doing, the passion everybody has for it. I figure like I'll figure it out in a while afterwards. I understand it has, you know, something, you know, revolving around, you know, creating better election process for the block producers and how those are selected, et cetera. And so I admire the technical problem that it's trying to solve. I realize that it is complex and it's a stab at it. So, you know, I, I kind of reserve judgment. My personal feeling is it's slightly tedious, you know, these meetings and meetings and Zoom calls and decision making and so forth. Whereas I've always gravitated towards automation. So I don't know where those two end up meeting up. So, but, you know, uh, we'll see how it pans out. I mean, you know, you've, everybody's been on the roller coaster ride, the whole, you know, raising the $4 billion, then the $4 billion wasn't allocated, the high points of getting passing the SEC, and, you know, really feeling like, all right, now we've got our sales ready to go. And then, you know, kind of the lackluster on, on voice and some of these other projects, Clarion, and then fractally, you know, there was a big expectation there. I don't know if it really met all the expectations of what, People thought it might be. I think people have been uh, wanting to see Dan really just go to town and unleash a new steam, you know, fuse with bit shares and you know, something really uh, on a social media side. So, I mean, I, I'm still gathering. I'm still gravitating towards that. I mean, our our current game that we're going to be working on now is Blue Jeju for South Korea and the Jeju Island. I mean, my. Uh, my simple mind can only grasp like a, a small engine. So, I mean, some of the subjects you're talking about governance and world governance and all that kind of stuff, that's a little, a little highbrow for me, but, you know, I commend your, you know, your ambitions there, but that's my take on Eden there. So y'all go ahead. Well, thanks so much for sharing your thoughts, Leif. That's fascinating. I have, uh, I wrote down some notes and I'm very interested to ask and uh, ask you a couple of things or share some responses. Uh, but first, I'd like to see if Nicola or or Reiki would like to respond to any of that first. Yeah, quick response. Um, there you go, turn that on. I don't think that's different from Eden in any way because, you know, the people that we're bringing into Eden, they don't know anything about blockchain. Um, so if there is a cool game that they could walk through that would actually teach them how this thing actually works and operates, I think that's fully in line with the need that Eden has. Um, so I think the current people that are in Eden are probably more on the side of really, you know, deep into decentralized governance, et cetera, which is why I think there's a huge opportunity for us to say, wow, you know, the 300 of us here, we're very uniquely situated humans that we really deeply care about this stuff. So that's a new job that doesn't exist necessarily yet, a new career path that's kind of new. Um, we're creating that. But simultaneously, Eden can bring in the next billion people into this process, and that would be really powerful. And for that to happen, it needs to be much more broadly, you know, useful for people. So what you're talking about, I think, is, yeah, it's right up that vision and need. Um, so anyway, I think you're part of the Eden community in my mind, but <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Yeah, I agree. Great thoughts, Reiki. And yeah, uh, so, oh, oh was I leave? I say I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Yeah, Triangle. thank you. I mean, that's a it's a big piece. So I'm really glad you're doing it, and cool to have you here. Well, so, I, yeah. I don't know if you remember, like in the early days, um, what was the guy's name? So I know Michael EOS and uh, EOS America, and those guys are near me. They're in Greenville, and those are my kind of guys. I mean, there's like it's like blue collar slash tech guys you know michael i don't think anybody knows as much as that guy does i mean he is the man as far as i'm concerned and then uh clay clay albright i mean he's actually one of the first people who really got got me into eos he was doing youtubes and he's just like a heating and air conditioning guy but he had all this enthusiasm because you know he saw that opportunity that you know this could be something really revolutionary and I kind of come in on that angle. I mean, we're we're blue collar, you know, and yeah, I think with the right ideas or the right, uh, you know, we're like contractors. I mean, we we would hire, you know, if we're building any project, whether it's a car or a building, you know, you're going to bring in the plumbers, the electricians, the concrete guys. It's all you're working with teams, you know, and we're supplying whatever it is is our niche. With me, it's kind of the creative side of it, but then also my ability to kind of find build a team pay them you know what i mean that's the other thing we're you know basically you know self-funded bootstrap but you know uh we've been able to get this far i mean as far as whatever it is but anyway i appreciate the kind words thank yeah i'll also add on so yeah thanks so much reiki and lee for sharing these thoughts it's fascinating um so for one i agree i would say you know, people sometimes say Eden community is only people who have been inducted uh, with the Eden elections, but I do think that it's much broader. People who are just, you know, joining these conversations and thinking about Eden, like we're all a community of people who are aiming to help each other. And uh, there's, I, I guess there's different levels of how much people want to participate. But I also see you as a community member who's greatly helping both EOS and, uh, and Eden Leaf, as well as just doing really cool stuff with games. Um, and... I'm also glad that you're uh, joining us Lee, to, to share these. I'm glad that everybody's joining us, uh, but um, in particular, since you're learning about it and also not seeing some of the value from it, uh, it it's really cool that you're joining and uh, hearing these perspectives out and sharing your perspectives. And uh, I think it's really valuable for us to be discussing these with different perspectives. Um, and then a couple of things that you said, I found particularly interesting Leaf, about automation and gamification. So. The way I've been seeing Eden lately, one of the ways that I've been seeing it lately, is as a gaming uh, ecosystem or as a gaming community, a community of gamers and people who like to play games together um, and using automation to help play games together. So um, I love the work that you're doing with uh, the various games like uh, uh, Boomerang and Blue Jeju that you showed with, with the other, with the more, more recent uh, town halls, those could be coming out soon, as well as many other games, you know, in, in the world and that people are building in EOS and just in general. And a, a thought that's come to my mind a few times recently is like, games will save the world and we need games. Games are cooperating systems. Games help people cooperate. And that's what we're doing with Eden. There's a great book that I read a few years ago. It's called Wonderland, How Play Made the Modern World. It's by a great author named Stephen B. Johnson. He's got really insightful thoughts. And he talks about how like the first computer was actually a game. It was a musical instrument. And the first, uh, he, he had several different examples about how things that have changed the world so much and seem so like technical and so serious now in some ways started out as games, just ways to, for people to have fun. And uh, games obviously provide a lot of value in the world. They bring people together and people enjoy playing games and friendships are made and business is done and all sorts of cool stuff. And the way I've been seeing Eden lately, it's like it's consensus games. It's we're coming together. You say it's tedious, Leaf. And I guess it can be if you're not, you know, enjoying the game or seeing that perspective. And I, I can also appreciate, too, because like the, the start of Eden started and, and a lot of the ideas and work on animals in the community was like we need to improve the world's problems and this is a better system for democracy and uh and governance and all things like that and that's that's very important i very much appreciate that i'm inspired by that but also uh you can look at it on kind of a more simpler level like people also need games and fun games and these games that we're playing together these cooperating systems wh whether it be the eden elections or the fractal meetings where people are rewarding each other respect during the eden fractal meetings or we're also designing some other games to like make agendas and all sorts of different things uh these are ways that we're playing together and we're getting to know each other and we're building cool things so we're doing that really serious work helping the world 
but we're doing it by playing games together. And we're using EOS uh, as and, and the benefits and the automation of EOS to facilitate us playing those games. Like almost like, I don't know, when you, when you bowl and you have like the sides, that's probably not the best metaphor, but it's like these uh, EOS is providing a structure and automation to facilitate these games. We need that kind of community computer or blockchain to do that. And yeah, basically, and I think that's one of the ways that it's going to grow too. I mean, to some, for some people, it's going to be really helpful to share. Oh yeah, please. Oh God, no, I'm loving this. Uh, <laughs> and I love this unlock too. Because then games nice. just turn into infinite games. You know, we're playing games and now yes. those games become, how do we play a better game? Okay, and how can we just coordinate ourselves to create a new civilization? You know, <laughs> you know so if we could turn all that into a game like why not why wouldn't we like how cool would it be to get rid of the concept of work all together and all we're doing is just we're creating with each other and creating civilization and it's great and all the things that humanity needs to thrive there's someone out there who loves doing it whether it's a house that's needing to be built or a garden that's needing to be grown or whatever needs to happen someone loves doing that but you know for whatever reason humanity created this world where we're all coursing each other with force and violence to you know overwork ourselves and create stuff we don't actually need. So I think we can create games that we can coordinate a different way. And this is just our training ground. It's a place to come together, keep playing this game. And slowly we build on those skills and hopefully before we know it, we're living in a different world, right? Yeah. So anyway, I, I, maybe I took it too far again. Lisa. No, that, that, that's awesome. You I know, love this it. Is what, you know, I, <laughs> and this is great. Thanks, Dan. That was a, a beautiful way of just putting that, you know, consensus games. Yeah, thank you, Reggie, for sharing. It's not going too far at all. I, I love it. I'm totally with you. And I also appreciate Lee for inspiring it too. And yeah, I think that, uh, I and I love your reference to uh, to, to Infinite Games too. Uh, I've also read Finite Games and Infinite Games. That's an amazing book. At, uh, like basically the goal of the game is to keep playing. And uh, uh, hey, Patrick. Also, Patrick and I talked about this with the DOS on the recent interview that uh, Patrick hosted on the Nova Crypto channel and invited me to co-host. We talked about how uh, like game theory, like everything's in a game in some way. And it's just like the games we were playing in the past were incentivizing those behaviors that weren't necessarily enjoyable, like you were describing, Reiki, but we're making better games where people can do something that they love and then get rewarded for it. But anyway, I don't want to speak too much. Uh, I feel like Leaf might have some response. Uh, also, welcome, Patrick. It's great to see you. Looks like you got a nice uh, haircut or shave, too. So great to see you. Thanks for joining. And yeah, yeah. interested. Yeah. Hear your thoughts. I have to be, you know, I have to be in good shape Ooh. for the last uh, episode of the proof of concept. Uh, Eden Fractal Brainstorming Session coming Good. on Tuesday at 16 UTC. And uh, we have great time there, uh, by the way. Uh, you are uh, welcome to, to, to join us if you can, clear. And on the next year, we will continue. That's not uh, finish. Who's who's this high school kid? I mean, where's your old <laughs> brother at, man? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Leif. That's been a lot. Thank you. Pat Nova Joy from... Uh... Pat Nova Joy, exactly. Always joy. Joyful. <laughs> you need a joy beside your name. You will be better, I think. But I was gonna say <laughs> just you talking about you are that. already you are already joyful. You are already joyful. No, change nothing. Change nothing. That's that's perfect. Uh, but talking about games and 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 on uh, big on scales that you're talking about, I I just it made me think. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Bitcoin actually had uh, like a uh, poker in its original code if i'm not mistaken so there's even a game designed in, in you know encoded in the original bitcoin if I, you may correct me on that but i think that's what it is i think i've heard that okay. and also it's an interesting thing that max kaiser always talks about and i you know it's a, i'd have to see it on a more technical level but he he often uh, he he often uh uh, reminds everybody says and bitcoin is a messaging app and I, that's a very interesting way to look at it you know because essentially it is a messaging app you're messaging value you know so i thought it was a very interesting concept a kind of a different way of looking at things anyway go ahead yeah, thanks for sharing that, Lisa. That is a fascinating way to look at it. And it's always cool to look at these things in that kind of different lens. I didn't know about Bitcoin having the poker, but that's very cool as well. And, and I think Patrick uh, was maybe inspired to say something there too. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Patrick. Is something you want to share? Uh, no, I am just uh, hearing you uh, listening uh, in listening mode. Very inspiring okay. uh, what said uh, Leaf with uh, messaging. 
about Bitcoin. We are the giving some signal messaging. So that's what you are doing here. Yep. Okay. I, I thought about that too. It, it, it's all signals in a way. That's also what respect is too. It's like sending somebody some respect. It's sending a message saying that you appreciate them. Um, and these things okay. are really important. And going back to what Leaf was talking about before with the automation, like the EOS blockchain and blockchains and community computers in general, enable us to keep track of those things, to keep track of game points and to keep track of messages that we send to each other in ways that previously weren't possible. By speaking of messaging, we have a fantastic messaging system. We have the EOSB Swarm. That's a yes. fantastic messaging system, by the way, giving Absolutely. a lot of uh, artful and uh, inject the best nectar into the, into your mindset. By the way, this weekend, that was just uh, Yeah Baby Swarms with Eden on EOS. <laughs> I have made a fantastic uh, swarm, just in incredible yesterday. The Antelope Swiss Workshop was just a fantastic swarm. Uh, and by the way, the Eden on EOS swarm that I made yesterday, that was without to know, that's the beauty, without to know that there will be Chris Barnes speaking with Brock Pierce with the 500,000 EOS given by Block One to Eden. What a surprise when I opened my EdenOnEOS.org and show my disbursement there coming, raising. What I did, I, I, I get the, the money of there and I gave 350 three three, three EOS to EOS support, 100 EOS to um, Anryu, Anryu, the hidden uh, proxy, the, the, the grant that he has on Pomelo. I have used uh, part of my hidden funds to sustain uh, our promise. So that, that's nice to see that we have more. Uh, um, funds into Eden on EOS. And the, I, I was just uh, watching the, 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 the video of Chris Barnes uh, yesterday night, and I was thinking, in my night, and I was thinking, wow, well done. Well done, Chris Barnes. Well, well done. Uh, what he do is it's just uh, incredible. Uh, what I say, sometimes better to be uh, aligned with the ideas and the information of the people and not directly on the people. So I was just in love. I was just uh, happy yesterday night. And when I saw that coming, aligned with the tweet uh, of the swarm uh, about Idonios and the mind map that I made, especially for Idonios. I don't know if you have a uh, if you have seen that uh, that's enjoy. But um, yes, I I, I did. It, that, that and, really and you did also that. swarm about your new new uh, show uh, Apple Apple. Uh, Yes, Fractal Apple. And also Steve Creative Jones. Talk, too. Oh, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So the messaging system, we have the messaging system into EOS. We have a messaging system by a lot of respect. And now the, 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 the mission of Eden on EOS is just beautiful, the statement. Have you read the statement of the mission of Eden on EOS? Uh, do you mean the one that's been on the website for a long time? Like, um... Waxa. Waxa? has made uh, the, into the last call, they have stated, we cannot just have one mission statement. Oh, yeah, they're about three mission statements. Yeah. With the three you horizons. Different mission statement. But you need one mission statement that is representing the current iteration that you are living. And uh, I was discussing with Waxa, and I added uh, something to the, to the sentence. With the power of EOS through fractal paradigm, collaborative circles that's exactly what uh, what we what we do here we we do fractal paradigm collaborative circles around the us so that's been a lot that's been a lot I, I, I when you are aligned with some people like you dan as always also when i am not happy and uh, and uh, nico the, the the brother of uh, steven Siegel. so that's, that's nice <laughs> By the uh, way, I was yeah. very. Uh, I I I I have a have uh, two. Uh, I had a shield this weekend. I was totally. Uh, oh, you <clears> sick? <throat> I, I, well, I hope you're feeling better now. Yeah, and I shaved, and uh, and now uh, I have nice. uh, I have two crystal balls, just perfect. Two? Oh, okay. Perfect. 
Good. Well, good to know. And yeah, I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> Sorry you're feeling off. Nicola is just. Uh... Ben, you got two of the crystal balls. Previously, you had none, but there we no, go. It's okay. It's okay. I am, I am uh, ready again. Cool. Sounds good. Oh, well, Reiki is, is leaving. Okay. Yeah, Reiki said he has to run now. Family calling in Georgia. And thanks once again, uh, Reiki, for joining in all the amazing work that uh, he's been yeah. doing and sharing very inspiring conversation. He sparked a very, very interesting conversation asking us uh, how, why Eden was valuable and our experience with it. And I think it inspired lots of interesting discussions about games and all these different things. Uh, Leaf shared some great ideas too. So um yeah, the, the, I was going to say something there too, uh, moving the conversation along a little bit, but is there something you want to share there, Patrick, or anybody else first? Oh, if I share what I am in my mind, I think we will never finish. It's okay. better that I, I, I stop myself. <laughs> I, I make me violence to not speak better. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Pat Noah just trying to speak. Uh, okay, so anyway, I, I, I feel free to share it in, in a moment, Patrick, if you want, but I just wanted to just say a couple of things. Uh, one, we've been going for over an hour now, so I want to be respectful of everybody's time, and so we can start to wrap it up soon. Two, um, uh, and, and Nicola also had a really interesting thing that we mentioned before about the new Twitter changes with bots. Um, also, Patrick mentioned the swarms too. So yeah, the swarm that you did, Patrick, there's several swarms that you did with the uh, with the Eden mind map, I think you did a swarm, and then also with the antelope. That's amazing work. So thank you very much, Patrick. And thank you, Nicola and Jesse and the bees for all the great work with the, bee, with the swarms. And I really appreciate too swarming the Fractal Apple and Creator Talk. I was really excited to launch that today. I didn't really talk about it, but I launched the Creator Talk podcast um and the first interview with the DOS about Eden plus Fractal which I'm really excited about and uh then also the Fractal Apple I just did a live stream so I'm going to be doing more live streams it's a little bit hectic and chaotic but I'm very happy to start it and we'll get better in the future and hope everybody enjoyed um and thank you so much Nicola for helping with the swarm um if you guys want to guide in any direction then I'd be happy to go however you guys want but I just wanted to just uh say thanks about that and then say we could wrap it up sometime soon if you guys want and then also before we wrap it up if Nicola you want to share I can share the screen about that tweet if you want to talk about the bees a bit or if Patrick you want to share uh perhaps you want to share your screen and share what you've been working on with the Swiss workshops or anything like that or with anything else then you can feel free or oh. if he wants to share anything else before we stop then that would be cool too you can share if you want you are the master of the sharing uh, I give you the right to 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 share the to share all the the things here. Okay, thanks. Uh, although I'd say you're the master of the sharing too, and, and I see Leaf turn his camera on too. So is there and Leaf also has a lot of to share. So yes, hey, um, I uh, actually I sent you an article there on the uh, the poker that's encoded in the Bitcoin uh, or, or original code there. So that's on your Telegram, Dan. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I don't have too much more to share, but I'm, I am going to be hitting. I mean, to me, like I said, we're we're a bootstrap team. I mean, we're hanging on by the skin of our teeth. And I, you know, every time I make a run at it, you know, I expend only. It's kind of like uh, the gas in Ethereum. You know, I've only got so much gas, and then I'll run out again. Then if I don't catch any, you know, momentum or velocity, well, I'll just have to be uh, catch the next wave. I mean, generally speaking. Uh, you know, and I'm sure you all sense this too. You sense when the when the market has momentum or EOS has momentum, and when it loses it. And uh, you know, I talk I talk about you know with my guys about surfing, and uh, you know, having lived in Hawaii for a little bit, the thing about surfing is surfing is mainly waiting. <laughs> you see all the cool videos of people surfing, but most of the time they're out there just sitting on their boards waiting for a set of waves to come in. And the key thing about, you know, catching those waves is one, you have to be able to see them at a far off distance. All right. Then when they get closer and you, you, you pick where you're going to try to enter, you have to get momentum going yourself. If you're not going at the same have some sort of momentum going, then that wave's just going to pass by. You're not going to catch the wave. So like right now, we saw the whole dip in the market with this FTX stuff and the whole gas, the air went out of the market. But you know what? I feel it building back up again. Even just this little bit that happened with the 500,000 Eden EOS. And, you know, I mean, EOS is like the last man standing, you know? It really showed how unstable many other coins and projects are it actually conversely shows how strong 
EOS is. I mean, it's you can knock the price, but at the same time, that price has been pretty locked in, you know, so that shows stability. So I, I see some momentum coming, so I really want to get the momentum going now. My biggest, my best shot at is this project Blue Jeju, just because I have the maximum amount of pieces in place. I think Korea is going to be a great market. Uh, they've got the uh, Busan uh, MOU, the, you know, a couple of little things there. It's a very tough market though. It's hit or miss, but I think it's a, I think it's, a, there's a shot. So I'm going to be making that momentum. And and Dan, I'd like to get it together with you because I really do need to do that Zoom call with Ezra. And if we could do that, that really is going to help me out because we've got a potential investor guy in the sidelines, but they, those guys, he's this David Drake and they ask tough questions, you know what I mean? They're like, well, what's the, what's the, uh, what's the angle? What's the pitch? Who's the target market? Yeah. You know, how are we going to make money? Those are really tough questions to answer, you know, and we need to be able to, I mean, uh, as our team, we got to spit that stuff out like an elevator pitch. They want to hear that stuff spit it out in like two minutes. And if you can't like have a dynamic proposal or a pitch deck that you can like flip through in like two to five minutes, you you got nothing from our perspective. You know, you're on a different wavelength than EOS and so forth, but we're still trying to, you know, uh, you know survive out here. But anyway, that's what's going on. Go ahead. Well, yeah, thank you for sharing, Leaf. Um, and yeah, well, I, I I hope that you and your team can survive and thrive. Uh, you guys are doing great work with EOS and with the games. And so I'm really excited about that. I'm also looking forward to speaking with you more. Sorry if it's been taking me a little bit long to get back. It's been, I've been trying to get out these two new shows that I was that I just released today as well as just uh, also trying to survive and thrive with Pamela season. So trying to promote grants and get up before the end of the season. But I'm looking forward to uh, meeting with you and Ezra and your team and helping however I can uh, soon. So let's continue to uh, talk about that and set up a time. And thank once again for sharing your thoughts. And then I suppose now's a good time. Um, so I just pulled up some windows. I pulled up the windows that you shared me in the chat, Patrick, with the uh, with the Antelope Swiss workshops. And so I can uh, share my screen if perhaps, well, I'll share my screen first because first I'll show a little bit of what Leaf was just talking about with the uh, the article that Leaf sent me. So and anybody, of course, feel free to jump in if you have any comments or thoughts while I'm doing this. So yeah, this is the article that Leaf sent me about Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer online poker payment system by Satoshi Nakamoto. So this is an article with cool artwork that came out a couple of years ago. And uh, I actually, used to play poker uh, on seals with clubs. So I used to be a semi-professional amateur poker player. I, I lived in Vegas for a short time and played poker uh, and made a little bit of money. Uh, and I lost some money on seals with clubs, actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's interesting. Very interesting article. I'm looking forward to reading this and the connections between uh, poker and Bitcoin. That's a really interesting story. So thank you, Lee, for sharing that. Super, super fascinating. And poker is a great game. And it looks like all the cards there are Bitcoins. Uh, and with that, uh, if anybody has any comments, uh, Patrick said, I knew you have some poker in you. That's correct. I haven't played in a while. Past couple of years, I haven't played. I played with friends online a little bit, but um, I, I look forward to get back into it. Stefan's been hosting poker games, so at some point I'll join those. I think, Patrick, you played, if I remember correctly. Um, and so, yeah, maybe we should move on. Unless, Patrick, it, it seems like you're still <laughs> with pursed lips. Do you want to comment on your poker, or should we move on to uh, Nicola sharing a bit about the bees and bots? I love poker, but uh, yeah, I think we need more than poker today in EOS. So let's move on to Nicola. Okay. I agree. Sounds good. So, Nicola, I pulled up the tweet that you sent me before. Elon Musk was saying the bots are in for a surprise uh, tomorrow. And Lunar Crush, a very popular um, aggregator on Twitter, said that Q4 has been tough for bots. There's a very sharp drop in spam and Twitter heading for your lows. It'll be interesting to see how the year ends. Fantastic job, chief of Twitter. So what do you think yeah. about that and the bees, Nicola? Yeah, so I think everyone knows that uh, one of the Elon's mission uh, after buying Twitter is that he wants to eliminate all the like the fake, fake sentiment and that includes the bots. So this tweet has been like, like you can see on the on the share screen that's been nine hours ago. And so actually it's going to change a lot in the crypto world because a lot of 
sentiment about cryptocurrencies is made by bots because everyone knows that uh, prices is prices are driven by in some ways uh, sentiment and depends on the opinion of, of of different people like you can have your opinion that can be some something else it depends but i think that everyone agrees that the the sentiment uh, influence the price in some degree i think the best example is like for example dogecoin with elon musk like when he talks about it the price goes up so it makes perfectly sense it perfectly sense and so the fact that he made the bots is like uh, first of all we really, it it shows that uh what we are doing with the bees is makes even more sense now because uh, because if the bots are are not there anymore then the power of the swarms are even higher because there is no more like fake uh sentiment on the other blockchains and so that's make our power even stronger <laughs> if i may use those words may use those words and so yeah i think this is overall about well if not i'm talking about the biz or eos or crypto overall i think this is a good thing that uh we limit fake sentiment and so because this is something that i've been maybe driving people to make wrong decision about uh, fomo and stuff and so yeah so this is great news for the bees great news for eos because we are swarming uh every week several swarms several tweets um of eos projects so yeah um, if you want to share something dan or patrick or leaf about that uh yeah yeah sounds great nicola thank you for sharing and yeah i'm really excited about this we we're talking a little beforehand too uh so i won't go on about it too much i'd be interested if patrick or leaf have any thoughts about this um but yeah i mean that's great that that Elon Musk is uh, reducing bots. Bots are a major problem on Twitter. You get so many notifications that are just spam. Um, and that's going to continue as computers get more powerful and so forth. So it's really important that uh, communities like the bees, or the bees specifically, are uh, helping um, and doing marketing with real people, like learn to earn, like Jesse was uh, speaking yeah. about during a recent interview. Uh, and also, yeah. uh, I, I visited the ESP's Notion site today and looked around uh, to it. You have great mission and values people can learn about. And uh, yeah, so it's a tremendously helpful service that is uniquely valuable with uh, without using bots. Um, and yeah, also, I, I I don't know, Patrick, you want to share this, but um, we also did an interview with Jesse too, that just came out two days ago in the recent Antelope uh, Swiss workshop too. So uh, that was a great interview. Thanks so much again, Patrick, for hosting that. And we talked about a, a, a bit about that in the bots. And then also uh, Jesse's working on the civil protection too, which also goes pretty, uh, pretty hand in hand with what Elon is talking about and reducing bots. Because when you have super production that's new like Eden, then you can know people are real. So great work from the bees there. And thank you for uh, sharing that. And I encourage everybody to check out um, this interview with Jesse as well and Patrick and myself. Yeah, I want just to say that the nation shall uh, update as you, as you read here. But more than reading, uh, that's very the true. Uh, we are at a... At a momentum where uh, we need more uh, metrics, more tracking. So there is the swarm data tracking. We were sharing during this video uh, with Dancing Joy. We were sharing with Jesse the current state of the cockpit that I have uh, uh, building. And uh, I have a meeting with Jesse coming and we will release the, the cockpit. Um, I am happy to to share that here uh, because now it seems to be that we are close and not only the cockpit or uh, so when I say the cockpit is the data analytic part and also the mind map and uh, we have something great to share and that will be user, useful for the community to follow about the the, 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 the result of the swarms how it's how, how it's perform you can see the metrics and yeah, there are great subjects into this video, all is time stamped. Um, yeah, so I encourage the people to see this video that was very well done. Um, I, I am surprising myself uh, how I was thinking this video was already three months ago, but that was just uh, this Friday. So how the time is going uh, fast sometimes. Um, and yeah, this video was just uh, incredible. And thanks to Jesse, because without Jesse, the video will be not the same because he, he, he gave a lot of uh, 
uh, substance into the, the topic. So, and we mentioned the oh, and we mentioned the collection that uh, Jesse has created on um, Pomelo season four. It's the language of EOS. Uh, he has put in it different uh, grant owners like uh, Turkey, Vietnam, and uh, other um, grant owner into this collection, uh, the languages of EOS. You, you see, you have uh, Turkey, Turkey, Vietnam, you have um, Lishir, Tir, uh, more animals, more equal animals. He has uh, translated that in German. He's from EOS support. Um, that's of Deutsch, German. And you have this Pomelo uh, collection mind map that I have uh, organized. I received some uh, links now to this mind map. That's the good point. Now the people want to have their collection into this mind map. They, they message me and they say, please put my collection in the mind map. And I answer, yes, but you have to send the link. <laughs> That's the good point. That's the good point. So yeah, we were sharing that. And um, and by the way, all the people that are into this workshop, like Jesse, were are on uh, Pomelo season four. That's uh, incredible. And Dancing Joy here has his grant uh, freshly accepted on uh, Pomelo season four. That's the creator talk show, if I am not wrong. Yes, that is correct, Patrick. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much. It's fascinating to see what you're doing uh, with the Pomelo collection and also the cockpit. You mentioned that. Uh, that's really cool, too. That was the first time I saw that. And uh, I love the collaborations you're doing with the bees and also the um, language of EOS. That's super cool as well, bringing together the community. So I love everything that you're sharing there, Patrick, as well as everything that Jesse and Nicola and the bees have been doing as well. And definitely don't be focused on the these. look. Don't be focused on the look of the cockpit of the mind map because we have changed a little bit the the corporate identity. But for the for the cockpit, uh, no, it's like this. We have the a cool data analytic tab with statistic, and then we have another tab with the detail. Or you can click the the the, the tweets then yes. you can maybe oh. just show yeah uh, uh, there, there is another tab if you go a little bit more into the into the video yeah there... after this tab after this tab there is another tab oh, okay yeah voila this tab you have into the left column the campaign name and we were showcasing the def, uh, defy of Yves Rose. he was making on October 2022, a, a tweet about uh, DeFi. And we were showcasing also the start of Pomelo season four made by a network foundation, EOS Network Foundation. Now, I think this video is a good uh, essential to understand where are the bees at and how it's, it is uh, continuing. I will and also to mention there is a, there is a show, uh, a talk, a talk with the bees uh, that was uh, Nicola, if I am not wrong, that was uh, this. Uh, Thursday or Friday? Thursday, I think. There was a, a, a talk with the bees, correct? About the comments, how to do good comments, how to do good... Uh, yeah, there, yes. I... yeah, we are helping the bees to, yeah. to write great comments. Uh, so it's about, all of that is about reading the tweet, reading the content in the tweet, understanding everything, which is difficult, by the way, for someone who's not yeah. in the cryptocurrency world and not in EOS community. Totally, totally. So it takes time, but uh, overall, the bees are understanding better and better. And so this is what we are, we are moving on other learn to earn process. So, yeah. Yeah. And we are, also we are making a great job models. there yeah. to, to remind the, the bees that they have, they have to use Grammarly when they are uh, writing something in English, because sometimes you are convinced that you have written correctly and sometimes you have some glitches, a space yeah. or a comma or maybe uh, grammatically is not soon uh, correct so that's yeah, yeah, very important even though when you it's not your native language uh, like it's my case even i make some mistakes uh, spelling mistakes oh yeah I write, so i use it myself so uh, i, I, I do i do yeah so this is why, why I have jesse coming to me and stating patrick it's not real english <laughs> that's nice yeah, yeah. The uh, website, uh, the website that you are show, that you are showing here, it's the eosbees.io, eosbees.io, 
Mm -hmm. That's the, the, the Notion website. Yes. And um, this is mapped out into the mind map, but not only that, other um, cool uh, resources that are not on the EOS Notion website that are mapped out into the mind map. So, but I love the, um, how it is organized, the bees, and uh, going always step by step and making st stone after stone. And uh, yeah. And Jesse yeah, was uh, agreeing that we are doing a great job with Hidden Fractal, that we are doing, uh, we are the representative of the networking to earn currently, that we are doing a fantastic job there. It's clear that we are taking into account what uh, Jesse was uh, giving us uh, advice. Uh, we are taking in account a lot of uh, other uh, uh, communities into uh, Hidden Fractal. So I want to say we are very open minded. Yeah. That's the that's the powerful uh, of uh, Eden Fractal. Absolutely, yeah. I agree, and I think that's a good transition uh, for me to just briefly introduce a little bit about the show. I know we've been going for a while, so I, I won't go on for too long. And I went on much more detail in the uh, in the Fractal Apple uh, show this uh, right before this, where people can learn more details. But I'll just briefly mention. So I did a, a, a swarm for um, the launch of both Fractal Apple and creative talk. So this has been a very busy time for me. Um, I, I launched two shows at once, basically. So I, I did the interview with Sadas uh, about Eden plus Fractal, the process that we're using at Eden Fractal, um, and just released it uh, just this morning, just a few hours ago. It's an amazing episode. Sadas did an amazing job with the Eden plus Fractal. And so I'm super excited about this. I put a lot of work into it as well. So I used a swarm for this and uh, got great promotion. And I haven't even had a chance to check out a lot of the comments, but I saw some of the comments were really great from the bees. And so I really appreciate it. Uh, I made some cool videos for little surfer dudes here and so forth. People can check out the Fractal app Apple on the... Uh, on the Eden Creators YouTube channel, which I'll show briefly. Um, so basically, I launched Creator Talk, which is a uh, it, it's a talk show, and it's a place where I interview creators, where I'll interview lots of creators. It'd be great to interview you guys on there at some point. Um, and then I also launched Fractal Apple, which is a new live streaming show that I'm doing before the uh, before the town halls uh, every Sunday and maybe throughout the week, where I'm going to be talking about fractal cooperation and Eden and EOS and also playing music and doing all sorts of fun things like that too. So I did the first episode, it, it was a little chaotic, but it was a lot of fun. And I talked about uh, donating EOS to uh, to public good grant creators and the new shows and stuff like that. So that's there. People can check out that on the Eden Creators YouTube channel. Also creatortalk.show is a new website that I just put together that I think it looks pretty cool. And it provides an explanation about how it's a new show about creativity, collaboration, and more. And you can find out the episode from Tadas and so forth. But once again, I won't go into too detail here because if you check out the um, the video on YouTube from the Fractal Apple, then you can watch it there where I give a better description. And I'll also be uh, doing these every week now to share more on the Eden Creators YouTube channel, where, by the way, these videos are uh, published. Um, actually, it's on live. Well, by the way, these town halls are published. I have to get a better thumbnail, obviously. Uh, but uh, I, I live streamed for about 35 minutes and I shared a little bit of guitar and pomelo pitches and stuff. I talked about your pomelo pitch quite a bit and the USBs and stuff. So I'm excited about that, but I won't linger on that too long. Um, and I suppose now is a good opportunity too. if Patrick, you want to share a little bit about, well, one thing that I thought was really cool that, that you did this week, Patrick was, and totally caught me by surprise. I didn't know that you were doing this was the Eden mind map. Um, so I, I added this to a page about Eden. Cause I think that you, uh, wrote it and put it together really well. And this is, a really uh, helpful... that's not from me. Oh, that's not from that's you. Not from, that's not from me. The text, I have okay. just make a, co a copy of the text that is on the edenelections.com website Eden okay. is a tool that empower a new generation etc and, and, and etc i have taken this text because i was thinking that's totally aligned of what i see uh Eden uh, on eos and i was thinking okay that's the opportunity to to make a, a an update of the mind map if you click the the mind map um Eden dashboard you have the interviews that i have made uh, on this term term four of the chief delegate on the on the right here, you click a thumbnail and you have the video coming. You have on the top a reward distribution smart contract by, by Anne Ryu. You have to sustain this. Um, the, the goal is to to have uh, some uh, cool um, um, block producer now included into the proxy. 
that we see that they are uh, giving the rewards also to the to the um, to the community. So that's the initiative of uh, Anriu and all the delegates here, all the chief delegates, Jesse Jaffe included as head chief delegate, are behind this uh, reward distribution uh, thing. You have the story of hidden uh, of of hidden story. If you click on, you arrive on the website of um, hidden election. Very uh, cool. Basically, very, very the, cool. The, the the mind map is pointing to the website, but not only not only. So that's the that's the goal. And I interview. And if you go back into the mind map, on the left of the mind map. All the branches that are on the left, on the bottom here, if you go on the bottom, you have all the history that I have tracking this. Uh, I am tracking the Eden O'Neill since the beginning. That's the collective memory. We spoke about in Eden Fractal, we spoke about to have like an archive where we can have uh, what we have taken as decision, the, 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 the old proposals, the old links. So that's the goal of the mind map also to have all as a memory. So you have the entire memory here. And you have the current, uh, ah, that was your term, Dan Sinjoy, with the interview that I made. By the way, I am the guy yes. that was uh, doing the interview of every delegate. So um, count on, on me because I will be I will be there on next year uh, growing and growing. And thanks to the bees, I have reached uh, 2020 subscriber on Twitter. I am very happy. 2020 subscriber. I am not here for, for the number, but that's mean a lot. And the uh, Nova Crypto YouTube channel is also growing. The people are uh, loving what I am doing. I am not speaking perfectly English, as you hear, but I am diving into the, the core of the things. That's why the people are following. And yeah, I encourage the people to see this uh, mind map. That's a very cool one. And you have a lot of information in there. Yes. And also, how, how, how I use my funds. I stated after the Eden election, on October 8th, that I will use my funds to, to give to EOS support, to give to other projects, and with my shift delegate level one, and that's exactly what I did yesterday when I was uh, seeing that now my, my funds have raised thanks to the uh, block one and EOS uh, injection of funds into Eden on EOS, by the way. So, and that's not only for that, I am happy. Uh, I am also happy because clear we, we need to, to speak the truth here. We need uh, less sheep and more lions. And uh, that's exactly what he's doing uh, Jesse Jaffe, Waxa, Xavier Fernandez, and uh, Raiki, and Chris Barnes. Shout out to him, I want to say. Um, good job. And yeah, I think we it's not, that's not the time to make some uh, fracture between us. That's the time to continue because we have all on the table to, to do great things. EOS is, is in a good momentum. We are into the beer market, for sure, but we have something to do during this beer market. At the end of this beer market, we will see who is still uh, there. I think uh, Eden has a, a good play, a good role to play into the, the, big, uh, the big picture of the things. And EOSB also has a, 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 a fantastic role to play. Eden Fractal by, by, by Dance Enjoy, uh, MindWeb, everyone here, we need to, to help us between us. No ego, no time to, to think about who is the best. Just think about who is giving uh, value and a uh, lot of data and information. And uh, you see, look, Luca Persic. Yeah, Luca Persic is there. Chuck McDonald. Very well done, the hiddenelections.com by WhatsApp. Yeah, that's he was, awesome. He was committed. He was stating during the interview, if you go back and you see what he was uh, testifying, he was testifying that he will come with a website in two months, October 8th. And now we have a, a good website and very well well made, well crafted. Yes, I agree. It's super cool uh, to see it all coming together. And thanks so much, Patrick, to for the overview. Shout it was out to a nice interview with him. Nice interview, very uh, insightful. Yeah, and thanks so much, Patrick. Uh, looking at this too and, and expanding all these just made me realize this is oh. an incredibly helpful resource for people Dan. to view about Eden stuff. So, Dan. 
Can you click into the middle of the mind map? What, the, the video? Here. Yeah, just here, yeah. Yeah. And Chris and Waxa and... Uh, That's the explanation why we need an upvote uh, election process. Mm -hmm. That's very well done. Yeah, very well produced and... video from the Bywire team. Oh, yeah. I was rewatching and rewatching and rewatching because when you are just watching for the first time, it seems to be that you are in a dream. But by the way, it's not a dream. That's the reality that you are living. And then you go a little bit more into the video and you see how this election process could be so helpful, the process that we are uh, doing. So, uh, uh, and Chris Barnes and Brock Pierce during this party uh, that you shared before the, 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 the video, uh, that's exactly what they have on Spirit there. So that was very well done. Uh, I was watching that into my Saturday night and I was like, uh, uh, that was just, just a fantastic moment. And I encourage everyone to see that. Yep, me too. Uh, they did a great job and that's really helpful to spread the word about Eden and also pretty on theme with uh, the questions that Reiki was asking today about why Eden is helpful for people and so forth. So it's been a very interesting episode that we've had so far today discussing why Eden's so important. You can see all the bad things happening in some parts of these videos that Eden can fix and then all the good things at another point with uh, practical governance and practical cooperation with people meeting together and uh, and getting to know each other. So many great things I, uh, to say. I also don't want to, uh, I, I could speak on this a lot too, but I'll keep it pretty brief. I also want to say welcome to CAC too. Thanks for joining us and hope you're doing well. And if there's anything you'd like mm -hmm. to share, okay, if there's anything you'd like to say uh, to CAC, then uh, it'd be cool to hear from you. Um, but if not, then we can also just wrap it up with, uh, I, we haven't showed the tweet about the Antelope Swiss workshop yet too, so we can just show people that briefly so we can check that out. Um, yeah, is there anything you want to add, CAC, or anybody else before we move on? No, I'm just listening. Thank you. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Well, thank you, CAC, for listening and being here with us. Um, one thing I'll briefly show too is I've had to show this before when I'm showing, but I have a little draft website, eatingcreators.com slash apple, where I uh, explain the fractal apple because I didn't really explain it before I just said it, but uh, I'll just show, show that real quick. I won't get into it now, but I'll also just move on now to uh, here are some great tweets, by the way, from the bees that are in response to this uh, this message and this tweet from Patrick about the mind map. So the bees are doing great work, thing, sharing really thoughtful um, ideas and um and messages about why EOS and Eden are so helpful. I like this message from Danny Ocean, and there's also uh, several others from Great Bees too. So thank you, uh, Nicola, for helping with that too. And I'm really excited about the work of the bees. Uh, and then I suppose the last thing that we can leave it off on, um, unless anybody has, has said anything else to share, is, well, we already talked about some of this, but uh, the Antelos Resource Shop, in addition to the interview with Jesse, uh, Patrick also hosted an interview with Matthias and Vlad and myself and Tadas talking about Eden Fractal and Zeos and CTF. So that was really cool. I've listened to all these now and I really enjoyed them. So uh, really great work, Patrick. And uh, you can check out the tweet there. And then Patrick also write up a nice little write up for each one of these as well that I was reading yesterday um, on the Bywire News article. So you can learn a little bit in text as well as the video from each of these builders in the community doing great work. Really cool to see that. And of course, it's on the No Rubber Crypto channel. I'll leave it to you, Patrick, if you want to add any thoughts onto that. And also, I see Pat, uh, CAC has his hands up too. So, CAC, what is up? Well, just real quick, the the mind map you were just looking at, can someone post the link in the chat? I know I can go to Patrick's website to find it, but it would be easier. Thank you. Yes, for sure. I'll share it in the chat right now. Uh, well, I, I'll share the tweet, and then you can find the mind map uh, from there. I hope that's good. I'll also share the mind map too, actually, directly. Yeah, and I will update some links that are into the mind map that are pointing uh, nowhere because I have made the mistake of copy-paste. That's like this when you are doing the things by doing the things for doing the things because you want to do the things because you, you want to do the best things. You are not, not always thinking about your errors. But by the way, it's like this that you are going forward. That's why I have decided to shave because I want to, to be the best uh, version of myself going on. Uh, I was already a good version, but now, what you say? Pat Novajo is coming here beside me and stating that I have to be very, but very committed and a lion. And I will be there until I decide to 
not to continue, but I will continue always. So I will be here for the community. I will be here not only for Dancing Joy, I will be here, but also for Dancing Joy. Yeah, we have to be clear here. Okay, and for CIC Thanks. and for Nico, the brother of Steven Seagal, and Leaf, the, the brother of uh, Crypto Dunker. And by the way, Crypto Dunker was doing a fantastic interview about uh, 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 Block One, the 500,000 EOS. He was doing this video with uh, Radir Xavier Fernandez. Very well done. I encourage to, to see. We can say what we want. We have uh, Block One, we have Ilios, we have uh, ENF, we have Eden Fractal, we have different collaborative ecosystems. If each of these of these uh, collaborative ecosystems are collaborate and uh, forgetting about their uh, problems sometimes or ego, maybe we will go uh, better and forward and with a lot of happiness to be the best bees that we can be. So. I think that's the that's the point. What do you think, guys? You're happy? Very happy. Yes. Well said, Patrick. Thank you. Personally, I am very happy. Okay. I, th oh, I, yeah, think you you a, I think you need a little hair on your face. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I know that I am beautiful. Thank you. So <laughs> I think we have to wrap it up here. What do you think? Sounds great. Uh, and you know how we wrap it up here? I think I have an idea about it. Can you, you refresh your mind a little bit? But I will innovate. I will innovate. I will innovate. That's the oh. time for some innovation here. All right. I like it. Yay. We will say at 3210, we will say go full spectrum power on EOS. <laughs> Let's do it. Full spectrum power. <laughs> it's all about full spectrum of values, not only the money but also what you can share to do good things with the people, help them, and don't be an egoist and be a better person, heart, soul, and mind. Okay, so first we will say go full spectrum power, okay? Not Austin yeah. power, but full spectrum power. Okay? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, Let's do, it. Let's do the countdown, but before you have to raise your hand. All right. I, okay. I think we're good to go. I do the countdown. Three, two, one, zero. Go, go to expect power. power. Yeah. <laughs> and now at three, two, one, zero, we will say what we will say. Go Eden. Moment. Go EOS. Go games. Can you come here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Pat Novajo is here and he suggests, he suggests uh, to, uh, let's say, something very basic here. That sounds good. Go yours. Let's go, go yours. yours. <laughs> go yours. Go All yours. right. Okay, Let, let's say go yours. Go yours. Let's do it. Are we ready? With a fractal paradigm through collaborative circles. Okay, but let's do this uh, very simple here. Go yours at 3, 2, 1, 0. Raise your, f uh, raise your hand. We're raising and we're ready yeah. to Leaf cannot driving. So be safe. Right. <laughs> yeah. okay. Be safe is the most yeah. important thing. <laughs> so, okay. Three, two, two one, zero, zero go. Zero. Yes. And the last one <laughs> go on up at three, two, one, zero. Okay. Three, two, two one, one, zero, go, go, go Angelo. Go. All right. Thanks, everybody, okay. for uh, the great meeting. And have a good week. Well. Start good week, good shape, and spirit of the lion, okay? Yes, absolutely. Thanks, everybody, so much. It's been a pleasure. And see you next week, next Sunday, Eden Town Hall. Thank you. Again. Bye, Thank you. Bye, All guys. Right. Cool. See ya. Eden,